Hey my unapologetic family, I am back bringing you yet another video and rocking a puppy face while doing it, literally. So if you want to see how I was able to create this rather easy DIY face pink look, do stick around. Hi ladies, it's Alan Dominic and I am back with another video. Now the holidays are upon us, so you know what that means. It's almost time for Christmas, so it is Vlogmas season. Now because we are very much still in a pandemic, so I don't really know what's going to be happening on festivi festivity wise here in the Bahamas. Plus if you follow my channel, I am a parent now. That's so wild to me so blessed super super honored so yes i'm a new mom now so i have to be cautious so i don't know what's gonna transpire for me to say really do vlogs so i decided to turn my vlogmas into a paint must vlog must all kind of must must <laughs> But yes, for this video, I'm going to be transforming myself into a little puppy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I am by no means a beauty guru. As I will tell you guys, I just do my damn thing. And if you enjoy seeing me do it, be sure to comment down below. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as always, if you stumbled onto my channel first time, thank you for stumbling. You know, my name is Winnie, your favorite island doll. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell only if you like the content that you see. Hit the like button and share if you care. Now let's get into this week's video. Before I hop into creating this look, let me firstly apologize if you hear any noise in the background. They are doing some construction next door so the dogs are freaking out, hearing the jackhammer and so forth. But nonetheless, we're going to just pursue right along. So jumping right into this, the um, palette I'm going to be using to create my face paint look is from Mosaz. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. As always, I will leave a link in the description of where I purchased it from. Yes, I purchased it with my own coins, hunty. But um, yes, it's not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor me, who am I to stop you? I mean, hey girl, hey. <laughs> But yes, so this is the Mosaz palette. It is a 18 color face and body paint palette. It includes three brushes, but I included my own because it wasn't doing much for me with the ones that were sent. Um, it's water-based, eco-friendly, no animal testing, which is a plus, 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 because I love animals. It also includes um, some little stencils, about three or four sheets, I think, or more. Stencils, I have not used any because I love freehanding things. I like creating different things or whatever, but cute little stencil stuff. Maybe I'll try them out one day. I don't know. And let me show you the palette. Again, I have been using it already. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is how, it's upside down. So this is how the palette looks on the outside has a little mosaic sticker there and there you go you have some bright colors yes 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 so yeah you guys let's get into creating this look All right guys, so let's get into this gig. So I went ahead and moisturized my skin off camera so that my skin would be nice and soft when I started to apply the face paint. And these are the tools I'm using. My old mascara for the one to brush my eyebrow, my old small angled brush, and to clean up the brow I'm using the shade Nutmeg from Black Opal's True Color Cream Foundation. I'm also going to be using my Jet Black um, eyeliner just to draw out the shapes that I want for my design. First thing I'm doing is using my wand and eyebrow pencil to create a thick black brow. I'm then gonna go in with the black opal cream foundation to clean it up. So 
So here I'm just showing you a trick I used to use when I first started doing my brows, which is measuring out where I want it to end, where the arch is going to be, and where it starts. I really don't need this right now because like I said, I'm going to be doing a very thick, rather unnecessary brow for this look. But yeah, you guys, trust me, this is foolproof. It will help you guys out if you're just starting to do eyebrows. So here I'm going in with my wand, simply just brushing up my eyebrow hair so it won't be so clumped up. I normally use a glue stick to slide up my hair so it lay down and I normally create a whole eyebrow but I don't have that right now. And then to clean it up because I'm looking like a big angry bird right now, I'm going to be using the True Color Black Opal Cream Foundation. Well, watch the box cutter eyebrow because this brow is sharp. <laughs> All right, so that was a corny joke, but on the real, I just used the same method I did to clean up the bottom of the brow to the top of the brow. And here I'm using the remainder of the cream foundation on my angled brush to soften up the front of the brow by tapping along the hair lines. Now I'm turning myself into a little puppy. So truthfully, I don't need to do this, but you know, it's a habit. So I'm going along and doing this. This is an awesome technique. A lot of persons use the Q-tap to soften up the front of the, um, your brow, but you can also do this as well. And now that I have this side of my brow done, on the next side I'm going to create the eye of the dog. Alright, so for the next I am going to be creating what I want to say is a Dalmatian spot. And how I'm going to do that is using my wand again to brush up the brow. And then I'm going to go in with the flat brush that comes with the mosaic palette and using the white color out of the palette to create the spot. I'm then going to go in with the black color out of the mosaic palette to do the outer ring of it. Let me tell you something guys, one con with this palette I must say is that the brushes are so small. I wish this flat brush was bigger. OMG, I really wish. It would take less time, but let's get it.
Chubby drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dog. we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we so here I'm just using the eyeliner pencil to create the shape of the snout of the dog and what this is going to do is give me a protruding look which is going to look really awesome when I apply the designs within this space. I'm going to use the same eyeliner pencil again to create the nose shape within the space of the snout I just drew out. You're going to see later on. Using the angled brush that comes within the Mosaic face paint palette, I'm going to apply the base color of my puppy snout, which is going to be white. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So come now. Alright, so now that I have the base color down for the snout of my puppy, I'm going to go in with the flat brush and use some more white to conceal my bottom lip. And guys, if you're not using a sponge or a bigger flat brush, it takes a little bit more time to accomplish the look. But we are getting through this. After I conceal my bottom lip, I'm going to go in with some black using the same brush and cut, um, fill in the nose as well as my upper lip and my cupid's bow. Starting from the closest part of the entrance of my mouth, using the same brush, I'm going to go in with some more of the color black to start creating the shape of the puppy's tongue that I want. To complete the puppy tongue's look, I'm going to go in with some red in the center of it. Later, I'm going to use some more black to fill in the nose and lips some more so that it's darker and more pronounced. To complete my puppy's tongue, I'm simply going to use the color black and do one slightly curved line in the center of the tongue I just created. Now that I have my puppy's tongue completed, to finish this look, I'm going to simply use the end of one of my brushes, dipping it in the color black, and I'm creating three little dots on the side of my face, right above the lip. Alright guys, and there you have it, our complete
completed look. Very simple, very easy, puppy face paint DIY. And this look is perfect for birthday parties or any themed event. Do comment down below what you think about this look and which look you'd like me to do for my next Pink Mess video. As always, remember to be you unapologetically and I will see you guys in the next video.